Hello everyone, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooBeDoo.com and I'm going to show you how to make... <clears throat> this is part two of how to make a modern CMS. Okay, so I'm going to kind of rush through this. Um, but basically I have... This is the third time I've made it. Um, okay, so we're going to need to connect to our database this time and we're also going to need to select all the rows from the database. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to explain it too thoroughly because it really doesn't need to be explained that well because um, you can ask around on forums and you can read tutorials on like w3schools.com for slash php. But anyway, so you'll notice I just created a folder called underscore class and inside that I added CMS class um, everything in CMS class is going to run everything that we need on the page, okay? So, uh, we'll go ahead and start our PHP on this. And, uh, I'm going to add a class to this. And this is going to be called Mo Modern CMS. And at the very end of this, I'm going to go ahead and add a comment telling myself that this ends our class. And the reason I'm doing that is because this file could very well be at least 200 lines of code, and it's going to be very helpful to know that that's what this curly bracket does. So, um, so when you connect to a database, let's go ahead and open up a standard file. It's been a while since I've done this, so com forward slash php. So, um, how, how you normally go about connecting to a database, so I don't have to type all this out. So, database connect. I like their new site. They've changed it since I've been to it. Um, so, you can see that you have to have the server name, the username, and a password to connect to a database. And this is just a basic idea on how you connect to a database, okay? So, you have your server name, your username, and password, okay? Uh, so, that's what we're going to need to connect to our database. So, first of all, we're going to have our variable for a host, our second variable for our username, and our last one for our password. So host links to username or our local host or our server name. Um, I call this a host, not server name, but apparently that's what it's called. So our username is equal to <coughs> this, sorry, and password is equal to this. So, uh, what I want to do is give these some, or actually, let's go ahead and create our function to connect to our database. Uh, I kind of, I'm really jumping around a lot, and I'm, I'm, I apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to create our function called connect. Okay. And uh, this is going to have an, our connection variable, and that's going to be equal to MySQL connect. And we're going to pass our host through this. So to do that, we're going to write this pointing to host, this username, and this password. Okay? And uh, what this is going to do, this, see, we're inside a function right now. This is going to take us back to our main class and grab this variable. This password, this username, is going to take us back to this class and grab this variable. This password is going to take us back to the class again and grab this variable. So it, this is just a very simple and easy way to get our variables. You can't just write host like that. You have to add the this points to host. And you'll see how I'm going to, you'll see why this is a little more, um, but this you'll see why this is a little better than the normal way of writing it, okay? And then we're going to write MySQL select db, and this is going to be equal to this database, and we're going to pass through this our connection variable, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add our variable db, and let's go ahead and give those their values so we can connect to our database. So back in the index.php file, I'm going to add and include to our underscore class directory forward slash cms class.php, which is the file the whole has, has our class. 
and we're going to create an object and this object is going to be equal to a new modern CMS and the new modern CMS is this class's name right here so we're going to go ahead and start this on our page and uh, we have to add, you have to add the parentheses to the end of it even though you didn't here but that's just the way you write classes and then we'll set up our connection bears var variables I'm sorry and so we'll have object and you remember last time I told you how we would do this host well now that we are not inside this main class we have to do object which is equal to this new modern CMS host it's gonna be equal to localhost then we have object username is equal to root because that's my username object password I don't have a password so this would be blank and object database is going to be equal to our database which is modern CMS if you remember from the last screencast so now let's go ahead and connect to our database so connect to our DB and to do that we're going to run our object and send it connect and we have to add the parentheses since this is actual function so this little code that right there should connect to our database and let's go ahead and test it and we didn't get an error so we must have connected successfully and I'm gonna add an or die to this mysql error forgot to do it the first time around but basically that's just gonna say if we could connect good or if we didn't die or echo an error on the page and yeah, we didn't get an error. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and go ahead and create the function to get the rows from the database. So below this, I'm going to create another function called get content, and this is going to be equal to SQL equals quote select star from CMS content, and that's all we're going to do. And then result is going to be equal to MySQL query SQL or die MySQL error okay and basically what we've done here is we've created a command line to select every star everything from CMS content now this star does not mean select all the rows from the database it means select the ID the title and the body now if I had a bunch, I mean a bunch of different things in here, then we could do select ID, title, body, and date, and time, and all that, okay? But right now we just need the ID, the title, and the body, so we're selecting all of that. And uh, so let's go ahead and get a, create a while statement or a loop that will echo out all of those uh, tables or those rows. So I'm going to create a while row equals mysql fetch assoc for our result which is this right here and uh, we're gonna echo out an h1 tag with a um, yeah and this is gonna hold our row title and finish that h1 and then we're going to echo out a paragraph that will hold our row paragraph or body. And uh, I want to note this: you see the way I did the row with an uh, square brackets? That's because the row is an array, and the title means we're getting the value of title. And you know, you remember we did body, and that's getting whatever's in the body. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. But we so to do that, we're going to go back to our index.php inside the page wrap. I'm going to add PHP equals get our object get content. Okay, so let's go back and test this. And you can see we got this is a great post, blah blah blah. And we got all our posts from the database with one line of code. So 
you can see that is very easy to read on your page and if you have two or three hundred lines of code and you know this is it so then you can go back over here and you search for git content and you can find it so um, one last thing that I want to do uh, is make these reverse because I want it to be kind of like a blog I want the last one to show first so to do that I'm going to do order by ID descending so instead of one two three we'll do three two one if I reload the page you can see our third post is the first one so thanks for watching this and look forward to upcoming screencasts